Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I am so happy that you were here today. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are just kicking off the vlog by running some errands. I am running to Plato's Closet. I have two bags of clothes back there, which I've never like sold my clothes to Play-Dohs before, so I'm not really 100% on how it works. We're just gonna go to Play-Dohs and see if I can sell my clothes to them. And then while I think they take time to like go through it, so while they're doing that, I'm gonna run to the tanning bed for obvious reasons. And I need to run to Cosmo Prof to pick up some shampoo and conditioner for one of my friends. And I need to buy coffee creamer, so we're gonna swing by some sort of grocery store. I think that is all the errands I had because that's all I need from the grocery store this week. Just wanted to say hello, introduce the vlog, welcome you all here, and I hope you enjoy. Y'all, this is just my life. I don't think the Play-Dohs is here anymore. It says it is literally on Play-Dohs website and it's on Apple Maps still. It's like, I don't understand why it's not here. So I think, well, I'm at a Kroger. So I'm gonna go into Kroger and get a coffee creamer and then I'm gonna walk over there and see like if they just don't have an overhead sign, which is kind of odd. Cause then like, how are you supposed to see it? But we're gonna walk over there and see. Oh, actually there's another one up the road. So maybe it's just moved. We're gonna walk over there and look if there is one here. So I think it just moved up the road. First, we're gonna go into Kroger and find a good coffee creamer. All right, you guys, I'm back in the car. I got my coffee creamer. I got sugar-free pumpkin spice. And um, I did find the plaintiff's closet. It is two miles up the road. They just moved locations. And um, the old one has not been taken off the of maps yet, obviously, because I drove here. I'm gonna go ahead and drive up the road about two miles and get to Plato's and Hopefully it's all my clothes, hopefully they're open and it's there and it exists and I'm not about to make myself look like a ding dong twice. So, let's go ahead and head up the road. It's been quite the adventure, but found her. So, literally the internet has their address so wrong. I was like across the street and it was an old location and they're like, we moved to this location now. So this is my third stop trying to find this exact Plato's closet. So. Literally, say a prayer for me that they please buy my clothes because I have been through the freaking ringer trying to get to this store. I'm gonna go take my stuff. Hopefully I have time to like run to the tanning bed or something while they are going through my stuff. If not, I'll have a look around because I've actually never like bought stuff from a Play-Doh's closet. This is my first time ever going to a Play-Doh's ever. If um, they need me to just stay in the store while they go through everything i'll just have a look around and i'll show you guys if i find anything good i don't really want to spend money because i'm trying to make money so um hopefully i can just run over to the tanning bed really quick Yo. so this has been a freaking nightmare to sell the plato's closet apparently you can't take stuff in there oh the dollar tree's right there we're gonna walk drive over to the dollar tree um apparently you can't bring stuff in there in a trash bag i didn't know that because i've never um sold stuff to them before so there's a dollar tree up the road i'm literally praying that they have like a plastic tote a um, laundry basket just something to put these clothes in so i can freaking sell them we are gonna go do that say a freaking prayer that there's a laundry basket in there or like a plastic box i can put this in so <sighs> Gonna head on over there and hopefully come back and sell my clothes. All right, y'all. So I just got out of Target. I had to go buy a freaking laundry basket. And yeah, the dollar store did not have any, clearly, because I'm at Target. So I am sitting here and folding everything. This better be worth it. Like, I better make some decent money out of this. I'm starving because it's almost noon and I expected to be home by noon. But this, I've been freaking everywhere just trying to sell these dang clothes. I honestly probably should have just drove home and done this a different day. But that's fine. Plato's Closet, if you're watching this. Please make it easier. Like, why can't you accept a trash bag? Actually, I kind of do get why they don't accept trash bags. I don't even honestly remember what I ended up, like, trying to sell. Whatever they don't take, I'm literally taking to Goodwill. Because I'm just done trying to sell this stuff. So I'm just going to sit here and refold all of this. I feel like this is a Marine's... I don't know if they're going to take a Marine Corps sweatshirt, but they might. My arms are like absolutely dead. I did back and biceps at the gym today and I am freaking feeling it. So let's 
been a very delightful day. I feel like these are like good clothes, dude. They better buy them. My arms like still feel like jello from the gym. So like, I feel like I need to take a break every like five shirts that I fold. One trash bag done. I have one more with like a couple things in it. So like I've seen TikToks and stuff about people that try to sell their stuff to Play-Dohs and like, it's like actually cute stuff and it's like nice stuff from freaking like American Eagle. And they'll say that it's like out of style. And I just feel like that is what's gonna happen to me is that I'm gonna get there and sell all this stuff. And they're gonna be like, it's actually not in style. This kind of isn't in season. Does Play-Doh closets go by season or do they just be selling stuff? So I'm about to take in some summer clothes as well. I'm like weirdly emotionally attached to my clothes. So this is kind of a sad moment for me. But what I'm reminding myself is that if I sell this stuff, I have room in my closet to go buy some more. We're keeping a positive mindset. Oh, this is cute. Dude, this came from like a boutique. This was an expensive shirt. Better get good money out of it. Plato's Closet has awful reviews about the workers not being nice. So I'm a little nervous to go in there, honestly. Refolded all of my stuff, filled up this entire laundry basket. So we are gonna go back to freaking Plato's and if they don't buy my stuff, I will literally lose my mind because I, have gone through so much to take this stuff to freaking Play-Doh's. Gonna head back over, we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, y'all, my stuff is checked into Play-Doh's. They said it would be about 45 minutes to an hour, so I am gonna go run to the tanning bed really quick. Um, I'll see if I have time to run up to Cosmo to grab that shampoo and conditioner. If not, um, I'll just grab it after. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to Suntan City. And hopefully my clothes will be done and I can have some money. Okay, y'all. I just got out of Play-Doh's and this was the biggest freaking waste of a trip in my life. They only bought like seven of my things. What the heck? That was a waste, Play-Doh's. Y'all need to get your act together because that was unnecessary. Now I'm gonna take all this crap to Goodwill. I went on a wild goose chase to find this freaking store. Had to go buy a laundry basket. For y'all to take seven things. There's probably 50 sitting in there. And there was nothing wrong with it. It was new. This is ridiculous. Glad I wasted all this time to get over here. We are gonna head over to Cosmo, get the shampoo and conditioner for Jordan, and then finally head back home. Hello all, it has been a hot minute. I have just been editing tomorrow's video and literally iMovie has not been my friend today. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm updating my computer right now because that is the only thing I can think of to fix it. Um, I've restarted my computer, I've restarted the app, I've tried to make sure iMovie doesn't get an update. Um, so last resort is updating my MacBook so hopefully that fixes it because it is literally glitching so bad and driving me insane and I'm trying to get this video up for tomorrow. So I'm about to do a hit tonight at the barcode. Ignore my laundry that needs put away. I just unpacked my suitcases from coming back from Thanksgiving break and um, I have a lot of laundry to do and clothes that you put away in. So much to do. I'm going to hit tonight, which is legit the hardest class there. I don't know why I sign up for it. I hate myself every time, but then once I'm done, I feel really good. It evens out a little bit. Still feeling pretty sore and like jello-like from my workout earlier. So I'm hoping I can make it through this hit class. It's cardio and not strength. Well, there's a little bit of strength training in it, but um, it's mostly cardio. So I'm thinking my arms and my back will be fine. I just made a quick liquid IV before I went. If you guys have never heard of liquid IV, it is basically a drink mix packed with electrolytes and different vitamins and stuff. I'm absolutely obsessed with liquid IV. I made acai, acai, however you say it, berry today. Um, you can always use the code Madeline A Powers and get a discount plus free shipping. So I will link them down below and include that code there so you guys can check them out. If this video is not sponsored by them or anything, I do make a small commission off of that link just so that you guys know. Thank you to everyone who always supports me on using those links and those codes. It literally means the world to me and helps me continue to do what I love. So greatly appreciate all of you that use my affiliate links and codes. You guys are the best. I think I am gonna go ahead and get my drinks and my bags and stuff together and head on down, go to my car and drive over to the barcode. I will talk to you guys when I get there. All right, y'all, I made it here to the barcode. I have just been sipping on my liquid IV, I'm trying to drink most of this before I head on into class just so that I can stay hydrated throughout the class because 
hit destroys me like no other like it kicks my butt I'm trying to drink as much water as i can before so that i can stay hydrated throughout the class i'm just gonna chill in here for a few more minutes class starts at 5 15 minutes a little bit after five so i'm gonna go in here in a few minutes get all set up and ready to go and i will probably talk to you guys after class hi friends so i am obviously home from my workout i'm gonna make some dinner so i'm gonna be making some salmon with some rice and some broccoli in the microwave. Mom suggested um, air frying the salmon. I should have thought this. We're gonna run this salmon under some hot water because I didn't think to thaw it because I'm a little idiot. We are gonna do that and get the rice and broccoli cooking. And yeah, I will update you guys from there. I will let you guys know how it turns out. Here is my dinner. It turned out so good. This cooked really nice in the air fryer. I'm really interested to see how it tastes. I just made some broccoli rice, added a little bit of seasoning to the rice, and yeah, I put everything bagel seasoning, steak seasoning, garlic, salt, and Italian seasoning, I believe, on the salmon. So we will see how it tastes, and I will let you guys know if it's good or not. Hey, y'all. So. It is a little bit later, I finished my dinner. It was really yummy. So I meal prepped that for the rest of the week and have my work clothes laid out for tomorrow. Tomorrow I work at the barcode. Um, I open down there, so I will work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. It is currently 8.30. I got a nice bath, I put on this super cute PJ set from Target, and my camera is dying. So I suppose I will end the vlog here since my camera is about to die, but thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.